that successful businesses measure the inputs, not the outputs. I have sat in thousands of trading meetings on a Monday morning when I was back in the sports trade at, at Intersport, Sports Connection, when I was working with my dad, we would do it on a Monday, we would look at what was happening and what, how we performed the week before in marketing and everything else. When I was in, um, in e-commerce with Harrods and Burberry and Pentland and Ted Baker, you know, and you sit there on a Monday and you spew out conversion rates, average order values, units per transaction, traffic, dwell time, abandonment rates, footfall in the stores, you name it, more KPIs than you can shake a stick at. The problem with all of them is none of them, including even sales, right? What does sales tell you? It tells you how you're performing, but it doesn't tell you why you're performing, nor do any of those other metrics. If your conversion rate is 100% up on last week or 75% down on two weeks ago, it's like, so what? Why is it up or why is it down? And how do you get to understanding that? And I believe you need to be focusing on things like net promoter scores, CSAT, customer satisfaction, what are customers calling the contact center about? What are they emailing them about? What are they saying on live chat? You know, what can you learn from that? Because that's normally the first touch point when stuff goes wrong. Um, so the team that are running that operation have incredible insight to share on the business about products, services, and experiences that could be improved. You know, these are the things that really matter, not the, not the actual performance or the output. Yes, you need to know it. Yes, you obviously need to report on it. Ultimately, it's only out, they're only outputs, they're not the inputs, and the inputs are the things that will give you the insight to be able to make uh, corrective actions and to be able to improve your performance.